I'm Shelly Turner with the Builder All team. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a free ebook funnel in Canvas with or without a sales page. So, how is a free ebook funnel used? This funnel is used to entice a potential customer to give you their name and their email in exchange for a free copy of an ebook. You can then choose to send them to an offer after they sign up for the free ebook. Remember that you also got their email. So you can now market to them using email marketing systems. So you can now market to them using your email marketing system inside of Builderall. So how can this funnel be used in different niches? For coaches and consultants, this funnel allows your potential customer to give you their email in exchange for a free gift, such as an ebook. It also establishes your authority in the niche because you've just given them an ebook with valuable information about your niche. For affiliate marketing, it's the same thing. It allows your customer to exchange their email for a free ebook, and it gives you authority in that niche. For sales, the same thing. For offline businesses, the same thing. And then if you're working with business to business, this funnel allows your potential customers to exchange their email for a free gift, and it also establishes your authority in that niche to another business. So let's take a look at how a free ebook funnel might look on the very first page. So you can have your logo at the top, and on the left hand side, you can either have a video about this free ebook, or you could just have an image of the ebook. On the right hand side, you can have an opt in form so they can fill out their information to get a copy of this free ebook. So now let's talk about how to set this up inside Canvas. The first step is to click Add Funnel. The next step is to enter your funnel title and funnel description. Remember that we're going to be working with two different funnels, the free ebook funnel and the free ebook funnel with the sales page. So you choose which one, make sure to put your funnel title and funnel description in, and then click Next. And then we get to choose the template that we're going to work with. We can choose either the free ebook or the free ebook funnel to a sales page. Once you've selected the appropriate one, just click Create. Now let's take a look at how to create a free ebook funnel without a sales page. Here I am in Canvas and I'm in the free ebook funnel without a sales page. So let's take a look at the blueprint completely. The first page is the opt in page. This is where they're going to sign up to be able to get the free ebook. And when they sign up, they'll be signing up with an opt in form. Once they fill out the form, they're going to be sent to the confirmation email page where they're going to be given instructions on how to check their email and confirm their subscription. Once they confirm their subscription, they're going to be sent to the download page. And on the download page, they can download the free ebook. We can take a look at the opt in page by looking at the three dots. And a pop out menu gives us the information we need to change any of the settings on this page. So first of all, we can choose the page theme by clicking page theme. And then we can select a theme other than what's already chosen as default. If we click the select theme area, we've got several themes that pop up. We can choose a different theme. We can view it before we select it, or we can just continue with the default and click the X to close. We can also click this form area, and this allows us to finish the configuration of the opt-in form. So it's connected to Mailing Boss. The next thing we have to do is select the list that it's attached to. The email confirmation page is already selected. The subscription confirm page is already selected, which is the download page. If you want to select a page for the unsubscribe, you can do that as well. Once all that's configured, you can either click the X in the top right corner or just click anywhere on the blank space and it'll close that window. On the opt in form, if at any time you want to edit, you can right click it and you can go to edit that element or you can view the mailing boss campaigns and set up the email straight from this screen and it will take you directly into Mailing Boss to set up those emails for the email sequence. To close that box, you just click outside of it. For the email confirmation page, you can click the triple dots, and that pop-out comes out to tell you what all you can configure. You can change the page theme, or you can change the layout. Everything in this particular blueprint has one layout, and you can see that blue square, and every single page has the blue color at the bottom of it. That means they are all in the default layout. Next is the download page. I can click the triple dots. And here I can select the page theme or I can change the layout. Of course, there's only one layout. If at any time I want to add additional apps, I just click this purple button at the top. 
on the page that I want to add the app to. And when I click it, it gives me the options of what apps I can add to that page. This one has create pop-up or add checkout. When I'm finished, I just click outside of that box and it will close that menu. So everything on this blueprint is ready to go. So the first thing I need to do is click save and then OK. And now I'm ready to generate the website. So I go up to this top right hand corner and click create website. And now I have to name the website and then click create. Now it's created the actual website in the background with everything connected just as it shows in the blueprint. And the next step is to either choose OK and I can go back to this blueprint or I can click access the website and it will open that website in the Pixel Perfect Builder so I can start adding my content and designing my website the way I want it. Now let's take a look at how to create a free ebook funnel with a sales page. So here I am in Canvas and this is the free ebook funnel with the sales page. So let's first go through the entire blueprint so we can see the design of the blueprint. So the first page is the opt-in page. This is the first page that the visitor is going to land on and they're going to fill out an opt-in form here and once they hit the submit button, they'll get sent to the email confirmation page. Now on this page, they'll have instructions on how to confirm their email and also how to whitelist your email. Once they confirm their email, they're going to be sent to the sales page. There's a couple things that you can do here on the sales page. You can choose to deliver the free ebook that they signed up for via email, or you can choose to add the free ebook here to the sales page along with the option for them to purchase another product from you. Either way works fine. Once you set up the sales page, there's going to be a checkout offer on there. And from the checkout, if they go ahead and purchase, they'll be sent to the thank you page where they can get more information about the product that they just purchased. So that's the entire blueprint. Remember that there's a couple ways you can deliver your free ebook here. You can deliver it via email or you can deliver it on the sales page where you're also offering them another product to purchase at the same time. So now let's take a look at what we need to do to complete the setup of this funnel. So the first thing is the opt-in. We need to go ahead and click the triple dots. And we can change our page theme here by clicking page theme. And then we can select the theme that we want or we can leave it the default. Then we can click form. And we need to make sure that our service is mailing boss. And then we want to make sure to select the list of where we want our subscribers to go. We've already configured the email confirmation page and the subscriber confirmed page. The next page that we need to work on is the sales page. If I click the triple dots, you'll see that I can select the page theme here. I also can manage the checkout information. So in the checkout area, I'm going to put the title of my offer, the price, and then I'm going to choose the success page. If they get through the purchase successfully, what page are they going to go to? And in this funnel, the success page is the thank you page. We can also set up a downsell page. The downsell page is if they decide to say no thank you to the offer, it will send them to a different page where they get a less expensive offer or just a different offer. Once all that's configured, I just click outside that box to close the pop-out menu. Remember at any time, if you want to edit the form information, you can right click it and that will take you to edit. It also will allow you to set up the mailing boss campaigns for the subscriber list. You can also do the same thing with the checkout offer. You can right click it and go to edit element and it will allow you to edit any of the information on the checkout. So now this funnel is completely set up and the next thing I have to do is click save and then OK. And now I can click create the website. Because I've generated this website before, it gives me a little bit different screen than what you're going to see. You're going to see an OK or access the website. If this is the first time that you've generated the website, just click OK and it will generate the website for you. Once the website is generated, you can click access the website and it will take you directly into the Pixel Perfect Builder where you can start editing for design and content. So that's how you use Canvas to create a free ebook funnel with or without a sales page inside of Builderall.